Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Meredith and this is a channel about living life with and beyond a chronic illness. So it is currently 11.37 and I just finished my last bit of food that I will eat um, until tomorrow morning and I'm gonna drink some water before midnight because I can't eat anything for eight hours before this gastric emptying test. So I have to fast and then my understanding is that tomorrow I will be eating an egg and then I'm going to be monitored for four hours. So we'll see if it's interesting. We'll see uh, if it's educational. I'm not really sure just yet, but I figured I would video the whole process for anyone else who has to get a gastric emptying test and is kind of wondering what's happening with it. So I'm going to get ready for bed and I will see you guys in the morning. So Kate is just finishing up getting ready now. It's almost 7.30 and we are going to be leaving in just a minute for the test. And I was just doing a little quick Google search on kind of what the test entails and I just found out that the eggs that I'll be eating this morning are radioactive, so I don't really know how I feel about that, but we'll see what happens. So not eating food in the morning when you have POTS is pretty nerve wracking, but I think the part about this that's really bothering me at this point is not being able to drink water. Because I feel like when I get up, I'm just so proactive about my POTS and I'm always drinking a good amount of water first thing when I get up so to not be doing that right now I just feel like really laggy I, I don't know how to describe it I don't know I'm just not definitely not a hundred percent right now so hopefully I have enough up here to figure it out how to get to the test this morning but I've got this one next to me so I'm sure we'll be fine so for some reason my insurance didn't authorize the test yet, so we have to wait another week. They just rescheduled it. So now we're going to try to go find some breakfast. Alright, take two. <laughs> so I called this morning and they authorized my test and unfortunately Kate can't uh, she only dropped me off to the appointment. She can't stay there with me, so I'm gonna be on my own, but I should be okay. I just gotta eat some eggs and sit down and let them watch me digest them. She's gonna drop off our recycling. All right, I'll see you when I get to the hospital. black square and there's all these little white dots which is I guess where you can see the radioactive material and you should be able to see the white dots move from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen so that was the first scan and then they let me go and wander the hospital for an hour and then I'll go back and they'll check it again and after four hours they're hoping that 90% of the contents of my stomach will not be there anymore will will have moved out of my stomach into the bottom of the screen and into my small intestine so we'll uh, see what happens it's definitely a lot more pleasant than I expected it to be though I expected to lay on a table for four hours so I'm pleasantly surprised and uh, the Cleveland Clinic has a lot of um, like artwork around and my doctor told me that in a little bit there's gonna be a farmer's market outside so maybe I'll go check that out and uh, kill some time because that's what I'm doing now killing some time I just have to be back there every hour and they scan it once an hour so shouldn't be too bad so I am officially free 
Um, my radioactive eggs are not in my stomach anymore. At least 96% of them are not in my stomach anymore. So they let me go, uh, which hopefully means that everything's normal and good. But um, yeah, they let me go and during my time between each of the scans, I wandered around the Cleveland Clinic looking at the artwork and they even had a farmer's market today so I was able to do that and I picked up uh, some gluten-free pie crust because I had a gluten-free lemon bar and it was really, really good. So that's it for today. I'm, I'm done and uh, it was pretty painless. I didn't have to lay on a bed for four hours so that was good. <laughs>